Power here, and welcome back to a new video. In this one, I wanted to go over some new details for some upcoming Paradox Pokemon sets, as well as offer a bit of a channel update, because I'm aware I made a channel update video a little while back, but it was also kind of like that segment of the video was, you know, overshadowed by the fact that PCO was shutting down, and that was the main focus of that video anyway. So I just wanted to make a bit of a sequel to that video, I guess, and offer an update as to what's going on in June in terms of the channel. So basically, for the new Paradox sets, however, if that's what you're interested in, we do have confirmation that Ancient Roar and Future Flash will release on October 27th in Japan. So these will combine to create our, I believe this is going to be our fourth main Scarlet and Violet set, therefore which is interesting because it's based around the DLC potentially, like the Paradox versions of Verizion and Suicune, which is interesting to be honest. I thought they'd want to do, um, it's listed down here actually, the other ones, the Pokemon Roaring Moon and yeah, so Cyber Judge and Wild Force, like we thought those sets would probably release before these ones because we already have Iron Valiant and Roaring Moon in the main games, but we don't have the DLC. So if this is the case, which it definitely looks like this is the case now, then it's very interesting to me that they would go with DLC before covering, you know, the Paradox Pokemon from the the main sets, the main games rather, I should say, first, you know, if that makes sense. But yeah, pretty interesting. But as for other set details, we know that on June 16th, Pokemon Card 151 will release in Japan, and then we're expected to see that set release in the fall. July 7th in Japan, we'll see the release of some EX starter decks. Most of these have been revealed already. I think most of them are pretty mediocre. I decided not to make a video on them in the end because, well, you know, everyone was making a video about them, but to be honest, I just don't see the potential in most of them, so it seemed a bit inane. But however, there is two decks that haven't been revealed yet so we can speculate that those will be maybe a bit better than the other ones but we don't know what those are yet but we should see them revealed at some point soon and then july 28th we'll see the release of ruler of the black flame which will feature a terror darkness type charizard ex and this set will basically make up the bulk of obsidian flames which is the set that's going to be releasing in august so pretty shortly after Japan get Rule of the Black Flame, that's actually when we will get Obsidian Flames. So there is actually a fairly short window. So we're presuming that most of the starter EX, if not all of them, will feature in Obsidian Flames in August, along with most of the contents, if not all, other contents of Rule of the Black Flame, as well as any cut cards from Paldea Evolved. And then in September 22nd, they will release Raging Surf in Japan, which will feature Goldengo EX, um, a Terra Water type Garchomp EX, and possibly, not confirmed, Palafin EX, and maybe even something like Dondozo EX. Now, this is the set that was originally supposed to come out in August, and then it got delayed, so that's coming out in September. And this will feature, this set will also feature a starter set Terrestrial Mewtwo EX and starter set Terrestrial EX decks. So we're assuming that kind of stuff will be combined with Ancient Roar and Future Flash to release in whatever set, you know, we get in the September to November window, I guess. Maybe that means that Raging Surf, like the contents of Raging Surf will be delayed a bit further than that. But to be honest, I'd be very surprised if we don't see this stuff in the West by the end of the year. I'd have to imagine by the release schedule that we will receive most of this by, you know, late December, roughly, of 2023, if not before then. So, yeah. Decent amount of stuff coming out. There's definitely all this new stuff. You know, we got you know, a lot of new stuff. Got a lot of new sets. I'm personally really excited to see how they will do Paradox Pokemon, if they'll get some kind of special mechanic like Ultra Beasts did, which was really, really cool. I really like Ultra Beasts. There's also like Team Plasma, even that was based around, you know, trainers and their Pokemon, I guess, as opposed to just Pokemon. But either way, it could be interesting, and I do hopefully... You know, I've got high hopes for Paradox Pokemon. I think they'll do something cool with them, but remains to be seen. And of course, Suicune and Vrizion will be headlining these sets. We also had a couple of card reveals from Pokemon Card 151. Just wanted to quickly talk about the Arbok EX that was revealed. Um, it has the attack Menacing Fangs for 3 Dark Energy. It does 150 damage, and your opponent discards 2 cards from their hand. 
Pretty decent disruption when combined with cards like Roxanne and Iono. Unfortunately, getting three Dark Energy on there is going to be a bit of a pain, to say the least. We're going to have to use Dark Patch and something else, maybe. What else? I don't know, truthfully. We haven't really had much in the way of Darkness Acceleration since the likes of Hydreigon from Darkness Ablaze, I believe it was. So, yeah, we'll have to see if we get any more Acceleration for Dark Types. But either way, definitely a solid attack for Control Decks and just, you know, something to keep an eye on. But the next part of the video, I just quickly want to go over a content update for June. So basically, due to life commitments and some life problems, I'm not going to be recording anything throughout the first three weeks or so of June. Now, that doesn't mean to say there won't be any content for three weeks. I have got some videos lined up, including some expanded videos and one or two videos looking at past cards, as well as stuff from Paldea Evolved. However, this stuff will obviously not be like new Paldea Evolved decks on TCG Live. If I go back on this and I upload a deck profile, it's because I've managed to find the time, but honestly, I don't see it happening before basically the last week of June. So that's going to be what's happening with the channel. So it's not going away. I'm not shutting down or anything like that, but there will be a lot less content moving throughout June. And then at the end of June and into the summer holidays, I'll be able to pick up content again and hopefully we'll get back on track. But yeah, that's going to be the update, I guess. And um, yeah, let me know what you think about the new car reveals and the new set details down below and Spinner Power. And thank you for watching.